Hey guys, my name is Jason with s and Forest Products. And in today's video, we're gonna grab some logs, take them up to the sawmill. And so I've got some old uh, cedar butts here behind me that the loggers kind of pushed off into the brush here. So our first job is gonna be to do a little log mining here, dig those out of the brush, see what we got. Well, we got everything loaded up and strapped down. So now we're headed off to the sawmill. Now I get to be a, a log truck driver today. All right, we made it. Getting them unloaded here. So we'll get a few of these unloaded. Well, I get them all unloaded. And up on the saw.
We're using a Baker 3665 bandsaw mill. And this thing is really cool. It's portable on a trailer. We don't move it around much. It stays pretty much right where it is. But it can cut up to a 36 inch diameter log. That big yellow wheel on the sides is the gauge. So that determines the thickness of the cut. And on a large log like this, we're cutting some seven by seven inch beams but a lot of the wood we're cutting off is one inch slabs or one inch boards so we can use all the log and not just waste a bunch of this log trying to get our seven by seven beams. Running a sawmill is as much an art as it is a science. And so there's lots of shots of the sawmill operator and myself arguing or discussing how to get the best or the most amount of wood out of each beam. And sometimes you just have to decide that the quality isn't there and we we're gonna try and get a seven by seven beam out of this, but we ended up making some one and a half inch two by sixes out of it. One of the other issues with these big butt logs is this Western red cedar has huge, a huge amount of butt swell on it. And because our mill can only take a 36 inch diameter log, some of the butts on these cedars are well over 36. So here I'm showing how we get around that. I'm taking my saw and I'm just cutting off as much butt swell as I can so we can get it into our saw and get it cut down to size. When the butt swell gets cut off, it really doesn't affect the amount of wood you can get out of the log because you can really only take the amount of wood that's the top small diameter. You can see here I just cut off about the lower third of the log, so all that was going to be waste anyway. I've asked and debated with other loggers and foresters why these log sections were left by the old loggers. And we have a couple theories. One is that the butt swell in these logs may have been too much for the mill they were taking them to. The other theory could be that some of these logs have rod in them or this one you can see in the lower right hand corner has a big split in it. So maybe they just culled the bottom eight, 10 feet of some of these logs. But another option that might be the best one is that a lot of the Western red cedar here in the Pacific Northwest gets made into telephone poles and the bottom eight or 10 feet of the logs oftentimes get cut off because of the butt swell and or a little bit of rot. 
And so they may have logged this property for poles previously and cut off a bunch of good wood that now I'm using. The sawmill operator always gives me a hard time because these butts have been laying in the brush for two or three years and western red cedar is very rot resistant but he still calls it bog wood. I bring him up a bunch of bog wood. But I've sold a lot of wood and we get a lot of good material out of some of these butt logs so I'm not letting anything go to waste. So thanks everyone for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a question in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.